Hi, welcome to another video. In this demo, I introduce form libraries for Power Apps. They enable you to code for events that happen in your app. For this demo, I have coded the form load event so that one of the two tabs on the form disappears. We can see here that only one tab is visible and we can see the user is less. So let's log out of less and log into a different account that does not have the form load event applied to them. and we go into the edit form, and we can see two tabs are appearing for that user. Next, I will show you how to edit the form and add the event. In the Power Platform Admin Center, I have created a security role called tab three. Here we can see the custom tables section and the table used in the app, 1M rows. So back in the form, we can see I have added a library called CR272 hide tabs. I select the form libraries item from the menu pane on the left. So let's have a look at the library settings. I click edit. Here is where we upload the JavaScript code file. Once loaded, the other fields are auto-populated by Power Apps. We click save and publish to finish loading the file to that Power App. Let's have a look at the code file in Visual Studio Code. I declare two constants for the GUID of each security role. I have added only one for now for the purposes of this demo. Next, we have the single execution context function. Next, we use the web API method to retrieve the system roles. We are determining which role the user is in and then setting the visibility of the appropriate tab. Finally, we have an error handling function. So, how do we find the GUID of a security role? In the admin center, we go to each security role and navigate to the address bar as shown. We take the GUI part of the URL. Let's play the app again. We can see the tab disappearing more closely. That's it for this video. The code for this demo is in the supplied GitHub repo. Thanks for watching. And remember, I love you all.